with food supplies lower than usual across the tri-state area, some now are taking control by growing their own. CBS 2's Nina Kapoor shows us. During times of panic and uncertainty, people like to feel in control of something. And many are seeking that power in food. New Jersey farmer Nate Kleinman says the ability to grow your own crops can alleviate stress and anxiety. If you start a garden now in the next month or so, you can grow enough food in, uh, in, in a large backyard to really support your family to make it so that you don't have to go to the grocery store every week. And it's a movement that dates back to World War I called Victory Gardens. People were encouraged to grow their own crops to prevent food insecurity. It was mostly forgotten about until recently when panic caused grocery store shelves to go bare. Fellow New Jersey resident Erin Eckert says gardening provides her with an additional sense of security. Plus, the therapeutic aspect of it cannot be overlooked. I feel like it's a, um, meditative. You're outside, you're in the dirt, you can smell um, everything around you. Eckert isn't the only one seeking comfort in growing her own food. Kleinman is encouraging thousands to join his nonprofit experimental farm network's coronavirus victory gardens. The movement, rebranded as Cooperative Gardens Commission, is helping first time farmers feed their families and neighbors. New York City resident Jacqueline Pilati is helping expand that cause to New Yorkers who don't always have the luxury of space. If you have a windowsill, you can definitely do things like herbs um, and some leafy greens that will do well inside. If you get a grow light, you kind of expand some of your options of what you can grow indoors. The trend is, however, causing seeds to fly off the shelves of local nurseries. Kleinman says many distributors are struggling to keep up with demand. On the west side, Nina Kapoor, CBS. Yes, two news.